Okay, EDC, everyday carry. Um, I think people make this way too complicated. And, um, and I, I get it, it's better to have and not need than to need not have. But uh, the thought of like stuffing two, three magazines in your pockets or um, you know, a flashlight if you're only gonna be gone for a couple of hours, uh, making sure that you have like this fixed blade fighting knife. Um, for me, obviously, I'm gonna have my cell phone, I'm gonna have my wallet, I'm gonna have my keys. Um, this is the mic pack to this microphone because they're making me film this video. Um, I'm gonna have my pistol, I'm gonna have uh, something to like do something stabby. Lots of different options on that. And that's it. Um, so I got like a gun and a knife. If I'm gonna be gone like all day, maybe I'll throw a flashlight in there. If I'm going to someplace sketch, uh, maybe I'll throw a couple of magazines in there. Um, I, I have a bag that I carry around often, depending on where I'm gonna be going. And so the orientation of that is gonna be slightly different. So I got kinda like my work wallet, my personal wallet. I have, um, the key fobs for some of the places that I have to go at the gym. I have my earbuds, my chapstick. These bad boys go right in the front. Like that. Now with key fobs, I don't need my keys on me. Um, so that guy can just stay inside of here. I have a tourniquet. I have a key for my wife's car because, you know, they often need you to come and do things. You know, the Hansi Constitution, let's, just because we're here, might as well just read something beautiful about it. Carlos, anything specific? Man, it's all so good. We just don't write like this anymore. A well-regulated militia be necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It's a pretty good one. Constitution goes in here. Tourniquet. Preset. Press in here. Do a little press check because they're free. Nice. That goes in here. Extra magazine. Cool. Goes in here. And. reposition my zippers to the side that I'm going to be tearing from so I can just go and open this bad boy cell phone patch, pouch in the back then I have like my go-to gym little fanny pack I think we call it a the undercover booby bag no what's that what's the actual name our co low viz waist back yeah, it's the fanny pack, boys and girls. It's just a fanny pack. So like, I, I think the major takeaway here is don't overcomplicate your EDC. Your everyday carry should be stuff that you can carry every single day. If, if you make it too complicated, you're not gonna carry it every single day. It should just be a natural, man, I'm walking out the doors, keys, wallet, cell phone, gun, knife, maybe that's it. Maybe it's flashlight, maybe it's extra magazine. You know, like some people are gonna lose their minds. Like, oh my gosh, should I carry an extra magazine? Depends where I'm going, you know? Like, the, the intentionality of it should be conscious. There should be a disciplined choice that's being made that's like, this stuff I'm gonna have with me all the time. And then maybe I'm gonna have some extra stuff, depending on what I'm, where I'm going, what I'm doing. And uh, like, there, there's also, on the public, publicity side, like I have to be in front of a lot of people sometimes. Like if you look right over there, Carlos, like that's a concealable level full body armor right behind my chair. Like that's next to my office door as I walk out. Sometimes I'm wearing that thing too. Like, am I gonna wear concealable body armor every day? No, but sometimes I do need to have it on. And uh, like, is this the right answer all the time? No, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just gonna be like a folding knife in my pocket because like I have to open up little snack packs for a bunch of kids uh, and my kids eat snacks nonstop. Ultimately, everyday carry means absolutely, positively, without exception, every day you're gonna have the bare minimum. What that is depends on your life. Stay safe, stay free, stay a sheepdog.